All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if it's not, then welcome back. So today I'm going to go through the process of answering a few common questions in regards to downloading Norton and actually doing it ourselves. But before we do that, if at any point throughout this video you want to try out Norton, then you can click the link down below to get access to a free seven day trial of any Norton product that is not readily available anywhere else. So these four wonderful options here are free for you to try out for seven days down in the description below. Why? Because Norton is just that guy or girl. Look, I don't know who owns Norton or who's running it. I just know that they're nice. Anyways, back to the download thing. So once you sign into your Norton accounts, you will be greeted with a wonderful homepage. You can download it from the download button, classic, but what I would recommend is going to the top right, finding the My Account button, going to the drop down menu and clicking the account settings. Reason being is because you're going to need your product key and you can find that in the my subscriptions tab and you can find it right here. Pretty easy to access. So just save that for later because we're going to need that. And right here is a convenient download link. And once you get to this page, you'll be able to send a download link to another device or a text message to your phone. But for this video, we're going to just focus on how to download it on our current device. And so once this downloads, it will show you a different page. Now I have this downloaded already. So what happens is you'll be greeted with this. And all I want to touch upon for this video is just the features that we have available. I'm not going to go too into depth on all of them. I will make other videos talking about them in more detail thorough detail but right now we're just going to be very brief about what we have here so this is the i guess brains of the operation i will talk about this in a second but let's cover all these other ones keep in mind some of these features might not be available to you like the dark web monitoring vpn or password manager but it really depends on which one you bought so what do we have here right so the software updater pretty self-explanatory the secure browser is like the adventures of making sure that no one's tracking your, your information or protects you from getting unwanted ads. There's also dark web monitoring, which prevents unwanted information from getting leaked out to people that shouldn't have it, like your phone number or even your gamer tag, which is actually interesting. So secure VPN, everyone should know what a VPN is, but if you don't, then it's basically you're able to access, how to put it, a center or server in another country and whatnot. So it's, it allows you to access, say, Netflix in another country and things like that. So privacy monitor, privacy monitor offers more results as to what it's actually monitoring. Cloud backup, if you have things or uploaded to the cloud, then you can back that up or check what you have there. Password manager, similar to what you have on your phone, it manages your passwords. And the parental control, if you have kids, then this will be important because you want to make sure that your kids aren't accessing any things or websites that they shouldn't. And now let's head to the device security. I really like this because it is very robust and gives me access to a lot of different parts of the app. But nevertheless, for this video, let's focus on getting that product key activated. So once you click here, this will say unprotected for you. This is where you actually input your product keys. So I can't press it right now because I've already done that, but let's do it another way. So you do also have the search bar so you can use the search tool to find anything that you might want to find that you haven't been able to locate otherwise. Um, it's very, it's like a shortcut, let's say. Cutting corners is always fun. And so you type or paste what you want here. If you want to type it out like a daredevil, be my guest. So you put that in there and then you press next and then it is finally activated. And also a side note, if you bought your Norton physically, then the sales representative at the store that you bought it from should tell you where it is. If not, it should be on the box that you bought it from. Or if it's online, you might get it through an email or you'll find it in the same place that I showed you at the beginning of the video. So that is basically all that you need to know in terms of this video. And I just want to remind you of the seven day free trial that you can find in the link down below. If at any point you want to try it out, it's there. It's always available. If I can find any other discounts for you guys, I will definitely put it down below. And so, yeah, it's always available. Norton has provided us with a wonderful option for a seven day free trial. No worries. Don't fret. Norton is here to help you guys out. I like this one personally, the $9.99 one per month. If you want to try it out initially, feature filled. And so, yeah, if you guys found that video informative and liked it, then consider subscribing and liking the video to push it through the algorithm so other people can find it and get the help that they need so yeah i appreciate you guys for watching the video and until next time take care and if you have any other questions for me put it down in the comment section below and i will catch you in the next one